I don't think that word picked up was any better than what we've got. So there's probably going to be something big, big down here. Maybe. Why are they running away? What was that? This is the southern plains, isn't it? They're going to be up at the manor then. It only appears at certain times, so don't know when it's going to appear. Definitely the southern, yeah. Okay. Maybe it'll just appear one time when we're passing through. We'll try and take out the one in the northern. See if there's any quests in the village as we're going through. Oh, what's this guy one? Hey, you. You ever seen a treasure map before? A treasure map? Yeah, a treasure map. You know, a map that shows you where to find buried treasure. I'm collecting them. My lifelong dream is to one day roll naked in a pile of sweet, sweet treasure. That's an interesting dream. So that's why I'm looking for a new treasure map or two. If you find one, bring it on over to me, all right? Where are we going to find that? Sure thing. I guess I should know where to look for a treasure map before telling the guy sure thing. One could hardly expect to stumble across such a thing lying on the ground. Old documents, huh? Sorry about that. You got any new weapons well to buy? No. We got anything we can sell? School books. Coloring books. 
Not a great deal. Blacksmiths always do well. In oh, a few quests here today. <sighs> Everything all right, ma'am? No. My son has come down with a strange illness. He's been ill for a week, and no matter what I do, it just seems to get worse. Well, if you give us the quest, he's bound to die. <laughs> That's not good. Any idea what's causing it? No. He went out to play with the other children like he usually does, and when he came home, he was sick. Something must have happened to him out there. I'll see what I can figure out. You will? Of course. Meddlesome as always, I see. Shall we begin by questioning the children? Sounds like a plan to me. I suppose all children are precious to their own parents. Yeah. But if the cause of the illness is a mystery, then we have little way to search for a cure. Well, you're smart. Come up with something. Perhaps we should speak with the local children. Why would kids know when the adults don't? Even the oldest adult in the world is but a child to my eyes. Hmm, what have we got today? Which job should I give oh, you first? Okay. Apparently the manor's butler has a unique shade he wants your advice on. Yeah. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. Yeah, we know where the manor is. Okay. Picking up quite a few quests now, that's fine. Here's there's a scary curse on all the forests in the world. And the bigger the forest, the scarier the curse. What's that about? I heard there's a scary curse. Hmm. Oh, we're talking to the kids about this quest. Some kids like to play in the northern forest. We're not supposed to know, but everybody does. Man, I wish I could go there. So something happened in the northern forest. The forest totally cursed him. That's why he's sick. Everyone told him not to play in there, but he did anyway. It appears something happened to the child when he entered the northern woods. I believe that area is more commonly known as the Forest of Myth. Yeah, we've been there. You think there's actually a forest curse? I will withhold judgment on such things. For well, now, we should visit the place and see for ourselves. All right, to the Forest of Myth then. Um, Northern Plains. We get to there. Should we save? I think we should maybe save. So we don't have to take on all those quests again. If anything happens. longer game than I expected this to be. Plenty to do in it. So the northern forest is over there, or we can go tackle the bridge thing. Let's go to the northern forest. Are we getting to slow down? Roar. Roar. Shade this large around here. 
Be careful. This is a formidable foe. Oh, he's got magic. Okay. Not a lot hopped in there. I think we get, need our um, gluttony thing up. That's not doing much damage either, is it? Row. That hurt. Oh, at least he's healing. Why is it not picking anything up there? Ah, oh, oh, right, he's flinging that stuff at me, okay. Right, that's that thing down. We're going to have to heal up. I think we'll just do this for a bit. It's not doing that great deal of damage though, is it? Some armor on them. I wonder if the lances would be better. Or the hand. Do a great deal of it. We'll try the lances. Whoa. Let's try the lances. But we'll need to get our full mana up for that.
Oops. That's not the right thing. I could really do with a heal. I definitely changed that away from Dark Hand, didn't I? Didn't do a lot, did it? Emil has healed me, so that's good. There's another healing on my full health. I should maybe go and walk him. I could maybe use a strength drop. Almost got him. There we go, got him. Pick up the special thing. Obtain the one handed sword Labyrinth Whisper. Stupid trash getting in our way. It's hard to imagine a shade being here. It's almost like it was waiting for us. They can't be that intelligent. Oh, really now? Can you truly say so with all confidence? The tactics of the Shades grow more intricate with each passing year. It would not surprise me to see them setting elaborate traps for us before long. We'd better wipe them out before they get too smart. In any case, we won't be able to live in peace until we take out the Shadow Lord. Right, we've got a new weapon. Forged from steel and liquidified beast fangs, the blade is red with the blood of countless sacrificial offerings. It's not very strong, it's very heavy. Fluorite, which we don't have. So this girl had a huge set of horns on her, beautiful horns, like a bull just growing out of her head above her ears. I had myself a gander at where the horns met the head, and let me tell you, they were coming straight out of her skull. She was, only the, was the only kid like that in the whole village. The others were all normal. The kid with the horns, though. Born real small, apparently. The horns were, I mean, not the kid. In hell, they would have needed to be. Fat chance the kid's mama would have been able to push out a pair of horns as huge as that. <laughs> okay. We've killed that, so we need to go to the forest over there. Uh, we could do with... We're not too bad, actually. I didn't use up too many things there. Can we get over this bridge? No. Look, that way. <laughs> <coughs> This is the forest. <coughs> ah, the home of that blasted dream. Yeah. Truly a nightmare I hope never to experience again. I hear you. Uh, 
Oh, here's the old Mane again. Oh, hello. How are things? Hmm? You want to know if anything unusual is happening? Well, I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Not really, no. And why not? Well, we're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prayer. <sighs> and why is that? I don't know. It's just how things have always been. Weird. Hey. Oh yeah, tree branch. Oh, everything quick. seems normal here. We appear to have hit a dead end. Say, what is that on the ground? Just some funny-looking berries. Ah, poisonous ones, I'd wager. Well, I'm sure not going to eat them and find out. seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately. You should talk, Vice. <laughs> As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hang on. I don't think it's done. Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. Block pure darkness painted over everything. Words scattered here and there across the blackness. Kind words, difficult words, amorous words, all sparkling in the dark like jewels. The worlds were few now, but time was shorter. Grabbing the words in desperation, the tree turned to the sky. This is wrong, whispered the tree in the voice of wind through the leaves. This is not how it was supposed to be. The plan has failed. Once, long ago, the tree had remembered everything about the world. This was its task, its function, its purpose. It shivered with something approaching joy as it collected the memories of mankind. This was no accident. The emotions were as much a part of the tree as root and bark. Memories collected like dew on the thick green leaves of the tree. And once they had formed a web that spanned the entire world. Words collapsed into sunlight before passing through the leaves and into the pool of memory. From the pool, the words joined together to form colonies. The colonies united into whirlpools of light, and the light coalesced into stars. Each star was like a child of the tree, and it loved them all. Look at my memory. A child is here, brought low by disease. He is far too young to have suffered so. Thin beyond words, the boy's skin is a shade paler than the bleached sheets upon which he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have long since surrendered his fate to the gods. The boy, too, has abandoned hope. Strange emotions, weariness, hatred, swell within the dark recesses of his young heart. He tries to reject the black terror that germinates in his body, but no amount of effort or tears can drive the invader away. He's long ceased to resent his parents and doctors. Once he did, but now his pain is so great that there is little room in his heart to think of others. Only one person brings the boy comfort. A healthy young girl with tan skin and deep blue eyes. She is a beacon of brightness and light in the boy's world. Her very presence is a comfort to him. But he is unable to look upon her face. Whenever they meet, the boy is filled with loathing for his own state. Soon this loathing eats away at what joy he receives from the girl's visits. The girl will stop coming. He knows this. His every waking moment is spent in fear of this day. He thinks that if he could talk to her, if he could talk to her, tell her of his feelings, this might not be so. But this conversation never happens. 
the girl disappears. The boy dies alone. The tree scoops up his memory and carefully stores it with it itself, etched upon it is a single word, envy. Look at my memory. There was a female warrior. Her greatest enemy is the beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend. When she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillar of salt and dies. But when the white smoke clears, a new enemy rises, and another, and another. The warrior knows that her struggle is folly, but fighting the unending stream of enemies fills her with a sense of joy and purpose. Somewhere deep in the warrior's drug-addled mind lies a vague memory of a daughter. Perhaps the child exists only in her head, the dying remnants of a powerful dream she does not know. Why is there always so much reading when you come to this area? <laughs> Her friends and fellow warriors come and go. Some flee in terror, some are eaten. She began to fight with 63 companions, but most are gone now. The warrior's body shudders, she does not understand why at first. By the time she hears the fierce low sound, the arena is already enclosed in darkness. Looking up, the warrior sees a beast so large that it blots out the sky. She is laughing. She has been doing so for as long as she can remember. Covered in blood and dirt, the warrior laughs. She laughs and laughs until the town that contains her daughter collapses into a pile of dust. This memory has been stored for a long time. It is etched with a single word, loss. Look at my memory. A red dragon falls from the heavens. Ah, that memory has been lost. A shame, it was my favourite of mine. After many centuries of its ex existence, the tree saw that its carefully labelled memories were beginning to dwindle. Once seemingly infinite, the memories now seemed ready to disappear forever. The tree did not feel sadness at this. Grief was an emotion beyond its comprehension. It did, however, have the distinct feeling that something was missing. The mountain of memories it had so carefully assembled had disappeared. The tree stretched its branches as far as it could, but new memories refused to flow. The pool of memories was a black, empty pit, a hollow place where life had once flourished. The tree had lost its purpose. There was nothing to be done but sift through the few remaining memories, littering the ground under its branches. This was why the tree was pleased when the young man and his companion entered the room. Well, this place is gloomy as hell. The room Draven had entered was almost completely empty. All he could see were a few crystals scattered haphazardly on the ground. Picking up one of the crystals and peering into it, Draven suddenly saw a familiar sight. It was the Forest of Myth, its villagers prisoners of their own dreams. I apologise, the tree thought, that all, that is all that remains. As Draven stared at the jewel, bewildered, a sudden, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of his mind. The voice implored them to listen. It was an order, following which was mandatory. <clears throat> Abruptly, the pair realised that they must listen. They must listen. Look there, said Vice. A small, shadowy presence appeared from beneath the floor. It appeared to be a shade. The shade grasped several jewels in its hands. More jewels tumbled out of its mouth like shards of broken teeth. Sights and sounds tinkling from each one before vanishing forever. The creature was abusing the memories, treating the precious objects like a collection of cheap playroom toys. This shade appears to be consuming the memories, said Vice. These things eat memories? asked Draven. The tree extended a branch towards Draven. Without a second thought, Draven brought his blade down on the shade, tearing its stomach wide. The jewels burst from the shade and poured across the chamber floor. Look, thought the tree, there is the conviction memory I had lost, and satisfaction, and many others as well. Yes, this is good. The tree opened its mouth and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. 
a millennium of silence and solitude had caused the tree to forget certain things, but rather than be upset, it greeted the development with good cheer. Focus on not all its power on the riddle of the speech. The tree formed a kind of makeshift vocal cord and tried again. Ahem, I implore. It spattered a glimmering green jewel. Hmm, one more time. I implore you. There we are. What was the colour of the lost envy? What was the colour of the lost envy? I don't want to go th through this again. What was it? <sighs> they said it in the story, but of course I didn't think to remember the colour, did I? See, I was thinking blue, but it was green. Ah. No? You let it slip through it. Come on, we have to go back to that stupid land of words. <sighs> Never mind. Some I th what color was it? It's a girl with a it was the girl at the start. What colour eyes did she have? I'm going to open this crate up first. We'll quickly skim through this. We're bound to have to do the whole thing again. Yep. See, I, that's where I cut the green from. What colour was it? The colour was eyes. Deep brown eyes, okay. Gee you meant to know exact remember? That said 33 that time, instead of 63. <laughs> this is my least favourite area in the whole game. Both these areas have just been really annoying. All this text and having to pick out a single word from everything. Come on, I just want to get past all this and answer the question. Right, brown. It spoke, the shade has intelligence and emotion. Who cares, said Draven. Draven brushed Vice's comment aside as his sword sliced through the shade's right arm. The shade extended its remaining arm to Draven. I must touch him, I must make contact. The moment his fingers brushed against Draven, the tree felt a warm sensation begin to burn. Something hot coursed through its fingers, up its arm, and out its entire body. It was emotion, more than the entity had felt in centuries. The tree cried out in surprise and joy, one thousand years alone, one thousand years in quiet contemplation. The tree felt like it was going to break apart. For long centuries the tree had been alone, its heart sealed with heavy chains, but no more. New powerful emotions began to take hold, causing its heart to lighten. This was more than simple emotions. It was designed to feel it was the beginning of a soul. And the young man was the key. This was the promise made long ago. This was how it would be released. The tree's stomach began to throb in pain. I knew an unpleasant sensation. But the time was not yet right. I implore you, how many were lost by the warrior who fought the red-eyed beasts? Well, it was 63. But then I saw 33. So what do I do? Why did it change?
shit. It's I would have said 63 because I saw 63 the first time round. It was obviously 33. You let it slip. Come on, we have to go back to that st <laughs> So, do we have to do the same, the whole lot again? It definitely said 63 the first time round because I remember rem remembering that number. You should have to go through the whole thing again. It's 33, look. It definitely said 63 the first time. Right, we're doing 33 this time. This is a bad mechanic. <laughs> I'm looking up the last one. <laughs> For definite. 33. Draven. Okay, rid all this time is over. I'm gonna kill the stupid shade once and for all. Something round and shiny fell from the open stomach and clattered to the floor. The key, cried the book, secure the key. The man's sword slowed. Time began to dilate around, dilate around them, stretching and slowing. Time was essential. The next word must be heard. The words exploded. It became difficult to discern their meaning. A pool of memories began to crack as infinite blackness burrowed its way into the wall. Fly said, This world is failing, falling apart. How can a world of letters. I implore, most important thing, world. <laughs> What's the difference between the three? through the whole thing again so I'm looking at which one because I don't get what's which one it's meant to be. any of the answers, all of which are different variations of Yona. Yeah, we know that. So I just pick any. It better work. <laughs> the light was complete. The memories disappeared. The tree's identity began to dissolve. As the letter slowly faded, Draven was drawn back to the real world, and the tree was satisfied. Yeah, I thought I could bark for that. Not doing that again. What in the? Yeah, exactly. I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Hmm. Okay, we've got a fragment. The memory tree fragment. But we didn't solve the kids thing, did we?
poisonous of the conveyors, okay, so it could be that. Yeah, let's head back. I really don't like this zone. Go talk to Poplar. Poplar has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. We'll just save that there. Uh, I need a very quick bio break. Um, so I shall be right back. There, I did toggle my mic on and it went off again. Right. Okay, we are going this way. Oh, Kanye's waiting there, is she? You guys solved the mystery yet? No, we got nothing. Too bad. Hey, what's with those berries? What, these? We picked them up over by that huge tree. I thought maybe... Gimme, I'm starving. Uh -oh. Are you mad? Those berries are clearly poisonous. Even one such as you can't hope to... Damn, these are delicious. Gimme more. Well, in that case, I suppose I should try one. <laughs> hey, Luna. Oh, I think Vice was right about those berries. Feels like somebody stabbed me in the gut. Hey, w what's wrong? Oh, no. Don't tell me you ate one of those berries. For the love of trees, those things are deadly. Quick, take this antidote before you perish. Five minutes later. <sighs> Thought I was a goner there. You an idiot? Didn't you see the lumps? The unusual colors? Only a child would attempt to eat something like that. A child? Oh crap, I, I bet that kid ate one of these berries. Yes, quite possibly. And if the poison is this painful for you, I can only imagine what it would do to a small child. Hey, Kaine, did you take the antidote? Don't need it. God, those berries were amazing. The truly amazing thing is that your stomach is fouler than your taste in flavoring. <laughs> if you had genitals, I would so chop them off right now. my arms and legs I feel great man you must have a cast iron stomach Kaine the hussy's internal organs are as filthy as her mouth why do you have to be such a shithead all the time book what you know some dreamies That's not our, our one. Oh, that one's tougher. Thing off of the door. What's our door? We didn't get anything off it, okay.
Uh, we've got to head back to the tower. I would like, really like to go to see if we can upgrade our weapons again. Gloves. Don't think we've had that before. What's that? Herb. Wait. What's the second spell I've got just now? Oh, it's. Lance. Oh. oh. Thought it locked up there. Hopefully it's open this time. Of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. Oh, no. Huh? Look out! Huh? <clears throat> These are the two brothers from the blacksmith huh? shop. <gasps> Jacob! Oh god, this can't be happening! Jacob! Jacob! It's a P-33. <clears throat> so we're still not going to get our weapons upgraded. <laughs> So is it forcing us to do this bit, is it? No, no. The junkie. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. They might know something about this. Can I save it there before I go in? Oh. 
Oh, hey there. It's been a while. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. How fares your brother? My brother's been dead for four years. Is he? Oh, I see. Please forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. Never mind then. See you later. Can I not? Wait! Yes. I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. I thought you might get some use out of it. Two out of sword, iron will. This sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the... <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. I haven't got that yet. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. You got it. Okay, so we have a new passcode, so we can get down to that B2 now. Can we not just- I'm gonna need some memory. Only the real big enemies- You got it. By the way, what can I help you with? Strength and weapons. We wanted to... Create a few. I can't remember which ones we're using really. Spear, 418. Could do that anyway. Because it's only one iron. That's a spear. Beast Lord. I don't know, I didn't really like the look of it. Or I could upgrade that. Faith, I'm using faith. I was going to upgrade that, wasn't I? Um, let me just do the ones we were planning on using. But sure faith is one of them. Come back soon. Yeah we will. Uh, weapons, weapons. Is it faith we're using? That's not, that's a dagger. One, one, two, one, two, three. Which one's got the most? It's definitely faith. Let's upgrade faith. I'm gonna only the real big end. You got it. By the way, what can I help you with? Let's do it. Assume that's as much as we can. Yeah, faith has come off of there now. 
Wait, what was the two hand weapon I was using? Come back soon. I think they like the Vilox. <laughs> that because that was quite a nice axe but I really liked well there's iron will I like that I need crystal I need another crystal <laughs> that's not very pretty is it Could do that one. Beast Lord. Why don't we do the Ox of Beheading and try and do that one when we get another crystal. So that does 384, it's still not going to do as much. I'm going to need only the real big and you got, by the way. What can I help you? Right, what about the spears? Which one am I which one am I using just now? I don't know. Where are you going? Is that the one I've been using? Yeah. I can't upgrade that just now. So that'll do just now, I think. So I've got. Can't do it. I've got that one. It's a heavy weapon. I've got my nice... It's only 150, that's not the one I was doing, was it? Oh no, it was Faith. There we go. It does 266, so that's quite good. Give me your nut. Okay, I'll help you with that. Um, let's just save that there. Put one. Right, let me just check something. I am going to stop there for today. Um, I'm getting on fine. I shall be back next Wednesday with more of that. Um, so, I, my schedule's maybe a bit 
off for the rest of the week. Um, Saturday, it might be the afternoon and Saturday instead of the morning, or it might be Friday evening for the Lacuna, the adventure game. We'll just wait and see. Um, so thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, a follow would be greatly appreciated. Uh, these will be going up on YouTube uh, in the near future. So until next time, you all take care, be safe, and I shall say bye for now.